When I came here, I um, joined as a surveyor. Surveyors are data collectors. You collect data. Now I'm in planning. Now you see, you know, you use the same data from exploration, you do the planning and then the management. But you have to be very careful because the numbers that you give, your bosses will use it to plan and invest in the future, you know. So you have to be really on the spot as you do the planning and survey. What I do in planning, we, we do a plan of the pit. With the management will give a pushback, which we need to do. Push back maybe 100 meters like the one we've done then you plan how you're going to access your ore in that 100 meters and after that you do the volume calculation and tonnages of how much waste you're going to move and how much ore or tms which is available first of all you have to understand what the uh, the system or the company requires of you and then you provide that information yes so i've come a long way and i've seen the pit grow you know so it's, it's actually been an interesting experience in my life. And then if you talk about gemstones, you know, Kajem is obviously the leading. So I've spent more than 20 years in a gemstone mine like Kajem. You know, I have learned a lot, you know. From the time when we used to do manual calculations, that time we had a little pit, just about maybe 40 meters deep somewhere there and we would move somewhere close to between 50 and 100,000 tons a month. That time, now we are moving over a million tons. You could not do a pit like this, the way you do calculations on a computer, you know? So as uh, a surveyor, you pick, when you do the manual calculations, it was quite tedious. But now we go download in a computer and do the rest with the new softwares and so on. I leave my family every Monday morning and come here. So you have to have a good state of mind to come and work here so that you don't have to get permission every now and then when you are required to be on work, then you say, oh, maybe this and that. So you manage it in such a way that you sort it out before you come here and then give your best to the company. But again, you cannot do it alone, you know. You do have other people around you who will help you to do this. Look at a big pit like this, you know. There is a lot of information that I wouldn't know, but of course you have to get information. So it also takes some art of knowing how to get information from other people. When you are working for a gemstone mine, uh, you, you have to realize that you need to know that this thing is going to be used by somebody who appreciates this, you know. So that should trickle down with the way we actually work because people will pay a lot of money to buy an emerald, you know. So even your attitude towards working, I should actually think, you know, a person who's going to buy that is going to use, could have used that money for somewhere else, you know, but he's decided to use it. So that should actually make us, you know, encourage us that what we are doing other people actually using their money to maybe a gift to a son or a wife, you know, jewelry. So that actually encourages me that there are people up there who pay so much for this, then we make a living for that, you know, from that. That actually makes me happy, very happy. I feel very proud to work for a big mine like this, you know. And then, of course, age is catching up with me. I think that I'll pass it on to the next generation and then encourage them what it takes to be in a place like this. I usually watch of many of these Z TV, you know, Indian, they have all those necklaces with, then I keep telling my family at home, this comes from Kajem, you know, that, what is that? that? That is the emerald. That's why I don't come home because of that. So I feel proud to see, you know, those celebrities wearing our emeralds from Kajem. It's really a pleasure, you know. It's, it's, it's a great feeling, you know.